Well, this is really exciting. A first of its kind event will be happening in Texas today as scientists are going to have something unique from space come back to Earth for a new scientific discovery. Yeah, Brian Sherman joining us now to talk more about this. Brian, this is a history making moment here that's splashing down today. Yeah, that's right. Scientists are going to be getting their first ever look at things that are going to be coming back from the stars. Seven years ago, the NASA Orion Rex space launch happened, and it's going to bring asteroids back to the Earth after traveling 3.9 billion miles. The capsule containing those asteroids will splash, da splash down to Earth today. I spoke with planetary scientist Jada Arney for what NASA hopes to learn from this precious cargo. Let me show you. So obviously a good thing going on here for our stellar exploration. OSIRIS-REx traveled to that asteroid named Bennu. Before you talk about this mission that's bringing this back to Earth here, tell us about what an asteroid is and why would we want to study them? Yes, well, asteroids are small, but they are mighty, and there are many, many of them in our solar system. We think of them as the primordial building blocks from the very early stages of our formation of our solar system. And so we're really excited to learn more about how the planets of our solar system formed by studying this sample from the asteroid Bennu. So in just a few days, scientists down at NASA are going to get these samples back from that asteroid. And what you're telling me is NASA's first ever asteroid sample mission. Why is this important? And what are these next few days going to look like? Yeah, well, it's going to be super thrilling. Uh, this is the first time that NASA has brought back a sample from an asteroid. And this is actually the biggest sample we've brought back from anywhere in space since the Apollo moon landings. The asteroid sample is going to be deposited into Earth's atmosphere in the sample capsule on September 24th, this Sunday. It's going to parachute into the atmosphere over the Utah Test and Training Range in the desert outside of Salt Lake City. Scientists and the ground team will be tracking its descent through the atmosphere, ready to get into helicopters and collect it. They're then going to take it to a clean room in the Utah Test and Training Range. And the next day, the sample is going to be taken to NASA Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. Now let's talk about this OSIRIS-REx mission here. Why is this such an important journey to the asteroid Bennu and then coming back to Earth? Yeah, well, it's been a really exciting journey to Bennu and back. This mission blasted off in September of 2016. It spent about two years journeying to the asteroid Bennu. It spent an additional two years studying the asteroid, learning more about its properties, surveying the surface to try to find the best possible sites to collect a sample from. It safely collected and stored that sample in October of 2020. And now finally this Sunday, it's bringing that sample home for scientists to study. So we're all super thrilled about this. So what are we hoping to learn? It's been a two plus year journey bringing that asteroid sample back to Earth to Johnson Space Center. Why are we doing this? What are we wanting to learn from this? And why is it so unprecedented that this is happening? Yeah, well, this is the first time NASA's ever brought a sample back from an asteroid, and we're hoping to learn more about the origins of our solar system, where the planets came from, by studying this pristine time capsule from the early history of our solar system. This is a really, really carbon-rich asteroid, and so it's got a lot of really interesting, complex chemical compounds in it that scientists are eager to study. This is also a near-Earth asteroid. Scientists are not worried about it impacting our planet in the next 150 years, but we are are interested in studying this asteroid's composition so that we might be better able to respond to future threats to our planet that could occur in the future. And to go with that, did anything surprise the astronomers that were looking at this as we're getting the sample back to Earth? Yeah, well, you know, we're learning more and more about asteroids, and the more we learn about them, the more surprised we are. One of the most surprising things about this asteroid was really how rugged the surface is. We expected it to have a smooth, sandy surface, kind of like a beach, but instead the surface has boulders the size of houses. So it was quite the feat to figure out where was a safe site on the asteroid where we could collect a sample from without damaging the spacecraft. And NASA will live stream the landing of that capsule at Johnson Space Center in Texas starting at 10 o'clock this morning on their website and also on NASA's social media. Definitely interesting that we're going to get some new spaced um, 
I want to say space toys, but it's not that. Some it's space, a space debris. toy to some. It I is. Mean, yeah. True. True. That's the best sort of gift. How do you up, exactly? How do you want up you that? Don't. You don't. You don't. No, you don't. It literally came no. from out of space. No. Exactly. And when I was talking with her, she said asteroid that was like heading toward Earth, but she's like, it's so far away. Like we don't have to worry about it. I'm like, okay, who? Breathe a sigh of relief. So what are you doing at 10 o'clock today? Yeah. Um, probably going to be watching that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably